discovered in 2017, now exhibited at the National Gallery in London. Self-portrait as Saint Catherine of Alexandria was painted in 1615 to 1617 by one of the most gifted artists of the Italian Baroque period, Artemisia Gentileschi. She frequently used her own features in her paintings, representing herself as heroic women and brave saints. In doing this, Artemisia promoted herself through her art and empowered her heroines. Here, she paints herself as Saint Catherine of Alexandria, who was martyred around 305 in Egypt. She's identifiable by the broken wheel, studded with iron spikes, on which her hand is resting. It was used by the Emperor Maxentius to torture her, but when Catherine was tied to the rotating wheel, a miracle happened. It shattered. It's a powerful image, posing with the instrument that was supposed to kill you. It's like she's just about to say something really poignant to you. Or it makes me wonder, what does this woman have to say? What has she been through? Why are her lips so pursed? Her body language to me is quite protective. Her hand across her chest. Her arm acts as a block between herself and the viewer of the painting. She also holds the martyr's palm, a symbol of victory and eternal life between her thumb and her forefinger, as if it were a paintbrush. Another symbol of St. Catherine's martyrdom is her halo. The crown she wears, topped with pearls, is an allusion to her royal status. And the way her hand is brought gracefully to her chest is also typical of the way the saint is represented. She also gives the saint a real physical, almost sculptural presence. The three-dimensionality of the painting is arresting. Look at the glint of the highlight on the metal spike in its shadow. Or the protruding bones on her right hand. Have you spotted the tiny patch of yellow drapery, catching some light in the dark? But the most striking element might be her pure white sleeve almost resting on the edge of the frame, and which seems to be coming forward. Women have always suffered at the hand of the patriarchy, and the fact that in the story of St. Catherine, when she was put to death, the wheel was broken, and she lived as a sign of justice and almost as a sign of a higher power protecting her when she needed it the most. I think that that also echoes to Artemisia's story where she was raped and she went to trial and the man was found guilty of her rape and in those days that was rare that a woman would be able to come forward and win a trial like that so I think maybe perhaps that's why Artemisia found some sort of correlation between her and St. Catherine and why she decided to paint her self-portrait through the image of this amazing female historical figure.